I am with you always. This is uh, the theme for today. And this is the message of God to us through the Bible. So this is what I propose uh, that we share this day. What is the Bible? Uh, and what is the message of God to each one of us in the Bible? The Bible, according to the Guinness Book of World Record, is the most uh, best-selling book of all history. There are like 5 billion copies already printed. And imagine yung mga hindi printed pa. Diba? How many uh, times we have already read uh, the Bible online as well. And thousands and thousands of books have already been uh, written about the Bible. This one that I have here. Hopefully you have your own. Huh? It's really good to have a hard copy. And thousands of studies, of experiences, of histories have been written about it. And then it's like a whole grand museum huh, of different books about the Bible can be made already. But if you are to summarize the message of God in the Bible, it can be done in three words. And that three words is, I love you. I love you. Who is the I? It's God. What is love? We're about to know that. And you, I love you. This is the synthesis, the summarize, the conclusion of the Bible to each one of us. And let us uh, know more this God who says us, I love you. And we can know God by uh, faith and reason. So when we talk about faith and reasons, not only like we know some people, no? I, I believe in God. But uh, it's hard for them to express why, no? to argue why, how come. No? We call that in our philosophy class, faith only without reason. And the Lord, I think, he is, if he is here, if he is here, he's saying us, use your mind. No, I give you your mind. So you can use it. Use your reason. Also, know more about God. So we use both faith and reason. And not only reason alone, because uh, there is a lot of mystery in the world that goes beyond our reason. So we know God through faith and reason. We know God through looking around us, observation, perception. Oh, wow, this is God. And also by faith through the revelation that he gave us, that he tells us through the Bible. So it is like, uh, for example, knowing a person. Imagine I met a woman, for example. No? Example lang to, eh? And then, wow, she's really beautiful. I'd like to know this woman. So what will I do? I will try to search, research. Uh, maybe I can look at her in Facebook or in social media. Of course, in the stalker, no, but an admirer. I can get to know more about this woman through research. And then asking also the friends of that woman. Oh, and then we get to know that, wow, she likes uh, swimming also. And then she likes, uh, she lives in Quezon City. I can know a lot of things through my research, through my research about this woman. But not all things about her. So if I have the chance to bump with her again and see her, and then talk with her, then there will be something beautiful that will happen. That woman will speak, will reveal what is in her heart to me. Now, she may confirm na what I have already researched, what I have already learned, and she can tell more things about her. Like, for example, ah, I like uh, also going to mall, or I'm an introvert person, I'm this kind of person. And I will not know that through research. I will only know that by believing on what she is saying to me. So I need to take a step of faith. So somehow we can understand and we can know God in that way. We can know God through, wow, things are beautiful, things are made uh, well. So maybe God is this. You know? God is order, God is beauty, God is goodness. But we can know more God through faith also through knowing uh, by himself, revealing who he is. God reveals who I am through the Bible. And that's why uh, very important to know more uh, what, who God is through the Bible and what is his message to us. And God is saying us in the Bible is that I love you. And it has been said that love knows no boundaries. 
and love cannot bear distance. Ang hirap long distance relationship, di ba? We, ex- we have experienced that. Mahirap, di ba? It's like we want the closeness. And God also, He wants closeness to each one of us. That's why He talked to us. He talked to us through the prophets. He said that to us, our, His message of love to each one of us. And then, not only that, He went down to be with us through Jesus Christ, to walk with us. And But not only that, He wants to be with us more. So He entered into us through the Holy Spirit. So somehow we, in this dynamism, we see that this is God. God who is uh, like a parent, a father who talks to us, who tells us uh, his love. And then God as Jesus Christ who is with us, Emmanuel, who has been with us. And then also Holy Spirit who enters to our hearts. So we have this what we call in our faith, the Trinitarian God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is uh, the revelation of God to each one of us in the Bible that we can see. So this uh, Trinitarian God, maybe some of us already know it. We pray always in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We always talk about this uh, God who is three. And some people are comparing it to like three in one coffee. <laughs> meron kang coffee, meron kang coffee mate, and sugar. But somehow I don't like that picture because cool lang pa yun, kumbaga. And then other people are comparing it to the mango. So you have the skin, you have the laman, then you have the seeds. <laughs> three in one then. <laughs> so meron tayong pwede maisip that maraming three in one. Ano man three in one ang alam nyo. Okay. But uh, the best image that uh, I know about the Trinitarian God, who is three person in one God, is this uh, art by Andre Rublo. Some of you have already shown it. This is a, a 15th century art no? by a Russian artist called the Trinity, which depicts God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Actually, it depicts also the three angels who visited Abraham, but that's for another day. Okay? Somehow we can see here the Trinitarian God. So you need to guess, who is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit here in this tree? Who is in the left center and the right corner? I can explain a lot of theological symbol in this art, but I will only explain for now the garment. Okay. So here we see on the left side, a person who has a golden robe. This is God the Father, the picture of uh, the majesty of God the Father, the Creator. And in the center part, we have a person who is in red. Means uh, parang the blood or the humanity of Jesus Christ. And at the right side, we have the Holy Spirit who is in green. That means life and nature. So if you notice, all of them were somehow blue that represents divine personality and also unity, three persons in one God. Okay, so this is uh, the Trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the identity of God. Now that we know somehow the mystery of the identity of God through the Bible, who, where he himself speaks, this is me, this is who I am, what is the message of God to us? What do you want to tell us? And the message is that I love you. And we can see that through uh, the Bible, from the beginning to the end. I will share with you some of the Bible verses. If you have your notebook with you, try to write down or note down the one that struck you the most. Because these are the messages of God to you today in your reality. In the Old Testament, we see God as a parent. God the Father speaking to us through the prophets. And we can open our hearts to listen. What does he want to tell us now? He speaks as an intimate father who said, I led them with cords of compassion, with bands of love. I was to them like those who leave infants to their cheeks. And also like a mother. He, he, he says, can a woman forget her nursing child 
or show no compassion for the child of her womb. Even this may forget, I will not forget you. He is telling to us today, I will never forget you. Even if you have perhaps a negative experience with your parents, I will never abandon you. I am always with you. I love you. That he even inscribed you in his hands. It's written here, see, I have inscribed you on the palm of my hands. This is how much uh, God loves you. He always remembers you. And more message from God the Father is that, for the mountains may depart and the hills be shaken, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace shall not be shaken. His love is an enduring love. Yung mga bundok, pwede yung mawala, masira, magunaw, maglindol, pero yung pagmamahal ko sa iyo hindi mawawala, hindi masisira, hindi mabibiyak. And also he said, I have loved you in an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. He is very faithful. So, papansin natin, wow, ang galing pala ni God magsulat ng love letter. <laughs> very nakakapili in that sense. No? Very intimate his message to each one of us. Uh, one father, Felipe, he said to us that Bible is a, is a love letter. This is a love letter of God talaga. And you will see there in his messages. He even said that you are beautiful. Have you ever uh, saw that in the Bible? You are precious. For you are precious in my sight and honored and I love you. So you are not worthless. You are priceless. Wala kang kapantay sa mga mata ng Panginoon. And this is the one last from uh, the Old Testament from God the Father who is speaking through the prophets telling us that my happiness is your happiness. The Lord your God is in your midst. A warrior who gives victory. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will renew you in his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. So my happiness is that you are happy. Uh, Party together, tie again. I want you to live your life to the full. This is the message of God the Father to each one of us. We see a God who is not there, remote, you know, that doesn't care for us. We have a God who cares for each one of us. He cares so much that he gives the only son he has. And now we understand who God is through Jesus Christ in the New Testament. More depths of the love of God can be found there as Jesus came down. It is written, in so many ways, God the Father, yeah, with the prophets, with the priests, with the experiences, with the kings in the Old Testament, God spoke to his people. In the fullness of time, he speaks to us through his son. Emmanuel, God is with us, the incarnation of God through Jesus Christ. And then Jesus himself uh, confirmed what is his mission here in this world. And it is said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. You see, this is how much God loves us. He doesn't condemn us. Like the story of Mary Magdalene. No? He doesn't condemn Mary Magdalene. Sabi nga ni Santino, hindi ko alam kung napanood niyo yun. No? <laughs> kung sinong uh, walang kasalanan, siya ang una magbato ng bato. No? So yun, yun, the message of Jesus to each one of us is that if you have committed mistake, if you have committed sins, I forgive you. Come to me. I do not condemn you. Go and do not sin again. And he says that every day, Every day, kasi every day we, we commit mistakes. But every day, he gives us chance to go along. I do not condemn you. Ito yon, John 8, 11, the passage that Kyle uh, has mentioned to us as well. I do not condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. So he didn't just defend Mary Magdalene, 
but also he gave her new chance, new life. Then also the disciples, not only that, he also calls them to follow him. Come, follow me. Matthew 4.19 And he promised that he will be with us forever. And behold, I am with you always until the end of age. Matthew 28.20 So how can Jesus be with us forever? We know that uh, Jesus went not to heaven, ascension, but how can we, he be with us forever? Through the Holy Spirit. So there's the third person of God, the Holy Spirit he gave to each one of us. Because he respects our freedom, of course, we have the choice. And out of that, he says to us, whoever loves me will keep my word. And my father will love him and we will come to him and we will make our dwelling place within him. God is in us, you know, in our hearts, through the Holy Spirit, his love. As he said, the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. So we are not empty. Our hearts, sometimes we feel empty, di ba? But that is not true because the Holy Spirit is in us. If we can just recognize His presence there, God is in us. And behold, I am with you always until the end of age. I am with you always. This is the message of God, His revelation. That he loves us, that he takes care of us, and he will never leave us. In my experience, knowing God who loves me really radically changed my life. Because when I was younger, I used to be afraid. And then also, if I was alone, I easily feel lonely. And then there was a time that uh, when I was sleeping, sometimes I got nightmares. Because I was thinking of some bad spirit, something like that, that frost me. And like, I, could, I couldn't wake up. I was really afraid. But I realized, I noticed right now, that when I met God, I started to be more courageous, to be more like, wow, why should I be afraid if God is with me? Why should I be lonely if God is in me? I'm never alone. And then I noticed those nightmares that I had before when I was younger. Nawala. It, they disappeared. I could sleep well, at peace, better. Wow, sabi ko, this is uh, one of the fruits of uh, knowing and being with God who loves us the most and always with us. So, in conclusion, our God himself revealed himself to us through the church and through the Bible no, that we have mentioned. He is God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's his identity. And his message is that I love you. I am with you always. I care for you, and I will never leave you. God is telling us that today. God is telling that to you today. Sophia, Kyle, Joaquin, Mikey, Wesley, Paolo, Ryan, Kirby, Char, Brian, and Elijah. I care for you. I love you and I am with you always. I will leave you with these uh, three guide questions for our short time of prayer. First is that read the Bible verses that I gave you. I will put it in the chat because I cannot uh, show it here. A lot of Bible verses I gave you huh? to showcase how beautiful uh, this love letter of God to each one of us. And there, you choose one or two or three, how many you want, and pray about it. Choose the verses that struck you the most, and what do you think God is telling you through them? Personalize it, because what he is telling to you is different from what he is telling to Wesley, for example, or to Paolo. It's different, each one of us in our own reality. And second, Alam mo naman, if you receive a love letter, well, depends on you. If you love that person also, <laughs> you give a reply. You, you, you write back, right? So what is your reply to God, to his uh, message? And then lastly is, how are you invited to grow in your relationship with God? 
God is telling us, know me more. And the more you know me, the more you know how much I love you. And the more you can know who you are as well. Because you are my image. You are made in my image and likeness. Okay, so I will leave you in this time of prayer. I will share with you in the chat box. You will see there the different uh, Bible verses that I've shared with you. Choose one, two, three, and pray about it. Okay.